As if this truck needed to be any cooler. Ooh, that's a little sus. Hey, uh, what's going on everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to new mods for Farming Simulator 19. Today we got 15 mods for you for all platforms. We got three new and eight updates. For console, we have one map that's new for you guys, an update for PC. Though we do have one mod update for console only, plus PC and Mac, we got one new and one update. Let's check them out. Let's start off with new mods for all platforms today, and we start with the map Ravensburg by Top Ace, who's made a ton of mods. We actually got another mod of them today later on. Welcome to Ravensburg. This map is fictitious, but similarities in names with real towns are international. A middle German landscape with great attention to detail awaits you in the look of a modern railway and invite you to discover and linger again there is paintable soil with plants and bushes the map is seasons ready and supports maze plus by increasing the limit for tippable heaps that is pc and mac only unfortunately contents there are two pre-built farms completely sellable also the borders and fences are sellable four towns and villages 44 fields uh, size from eight hectares seven meadows you've got 18 woodland sections six areas for placeable objects in different areas and sizes of the map one cow shed installed at each farm one horse farm installed three railway silos railway station for wood one bgp pre-placed or bga maybe uh, eight points of sell for crops two for wool wood and bells and one for wood chips dynamic ai traffic with top speed of 45 kilometers per hour slows down at intersection sport of manure system and the bga and the cow sheds for uh, your pc players Adapted so much to this map. Adapted transportation missions with new pallets. Field grass used as an additional fruit for that. New grass texture with flowers. The Homer T440 and Ropa Panther 2 been converted for potato harvesting. Seasons ready. Maze Plus support. Precision farming support. Support for the mod. HOT animated objects extended. Scripts for PC and Mac include the multi terrain angle display of texture names, the landscaping tool, and increase the maximum amount of tipping heaps. Many thanks go to the modders that were allowed to use things on this map, but <laughs> you're probably dizzy already. Let's check it out. There's so much to this, and I think this is going to be one of the coolest maps to take a look at with you guys. So there's some nice squared off fields. They're not massive, which is nice. There's tons of area down here for logging. So you got lots and lots of logging areas. You got an area there, areas up through here. You can buy the outside of the map, so you could technically own the entire thing. You could buy the towns as well. It's nice. You can buy everything. I love it. 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 Yes. You can even buy the, the, the <laughs> 60. That was nice. Uh, so you've got tons and tons of area. When you start off, the only thing you get is field nine, field 10, and your main farm area right here. Speaking of the main farm area, boop, let's go down to the ground and check it out. So you got some pretty cool stuff around here. Uh, you do have buildings from Felsbrin. You do have some mods, specifically this mod right here, which is getting an update later on today. Of course, you got your cows, horses, everything is good. Let's take a look at what you get because you get some quite good equipment when you're starting a new farmer. For example, we have the New Holland T6. You get the K7210 Pro. You get the Massey Ferguson Activa 7347. Beautiful track or uh, <laughs> combine right there. You also get the new truck, tipper, header, corn header, subsoiler, cedar. You get the uh, seed tank for that. You get a corn planter, sprayer, spreader, mower, tedder, windrow. You get a loading wagon. You get a liquid trans, which is going to hold 8,000 liters of milk, water, Died, or, uh, herbicide and it will also do your fertilizer front loader bell spike header trailer you got a 2000 uh, kilogram weights you get the cow stable from moose agrar small grain silo from top ace themselves small bunker silo liquid fertilizer and herbicide storage that's going to store 100,000 liters you got fertilizer storage 100,000 lime storage 100,000 seed storage 100,000 field hall machinery hall Easy sheds with a sides on them. Smaller shed, you get a sprayer. You get a farm, walls with gates, farm one borders, farmhouse. I mean, come on. There's, you can, I mean, you could literally just level this entire area and just delete everything. Super cool, super awesome. Great to see this on consoles as well. It's awesome. Can we make that disappear? We sure can. Using the B button if you're on Xbox or using 
the, uh, what was that, the circle or something like that on PlayStation. Tons of areas through here. We're not going to be able to show everything off. I'm sure Mr. Silly P will do a video on this. Hey, maybe we will as well. Check this map out. Next new mod for all platforms is something absolutely massive that I think is going to take off real quick. This is the Lizard Maximus 20,000 TH. This is going to hold 20,000 liters of not only fertilizer, not only lime, but manure as well. 120 horsepower required, 32 meter spread, making it the largest spreader in the game that you can use lime with at 12 miles per hour max working speed. Main color, you have a red and you've got a stainless steel as well. Wheel brands, we have Lizard, we have Michelin, back to Lizard in Michelin. We have basically an R26 and we got our, <laughs> oh, yikes, that's the one I want right there. This thing is absolutely massive, truly incredible. A masterpiece, as you would say. Gotta get this right now. Was it 32 meter spread? Come on. And your last new mod for all platforms today is going to be the Fiat X70 series by the SMI mod team. We have two versions of this. Not only do we have a four wheel drive, you got a two wheel drive version as well, which is very nice. And here's 60 horsepower, 200 liters of fuel, 15 mile per hour max speed. Main color, well, you've got the Fiat Orange and you also have the Fiat Red as well. So if you want to match this with some of your other Fiat tractors, regardless of what color they are, you can do it. Configuration, we have standard. We have a 130 kilogram front weight, 210, 290, 370, 450, 530, and then back to standard again. In Will Brands, we have Trelleborg, we have Michelin, Nokian, Midas, and Trelleborg. In the Trelleborg, we have a standard tire, we have a wide tire. We have my favorite tire in the world. What is that? Narrow tires. Back to standard Michelin. We have a standard, a wide, back and forth between those two. In uh, Nokian, we have a standard tire. We got wide tires through there as well. Man, that's got to look attractive right there. And in Midas, we have a standard and a wide tire. We're going to go back over. Where is it? Where is it? Trailerboard. Give me the trailerboard. Yes. All right. Those look a little weird. Let's go to wide tires. In design, we have uh, basically design one, design two, three four and back to one again that is going to be your exhaust right there cab we have a standard we have the arch protection canopy canopy with the arch back to standard so there's no enclosed version attachers we have original attachers we have modern attachers so either way that you want to go through there either way you're going to be able to hook up whatever you want which is nice and then engine setup we have a 570 which is going to give you 57 horsepower we had a 67 horsepower 100 horsepower engine and back down so you're doubling that horsepower 100 horsepower in this is insane that's crazy i love that now are the options exactly the same in the two-wheel drive version as well i would assume so i wonder what the narrow tires look like okay so the front tires just don't change very nice okay we've got all the same options canopy yep we've got the attachers 100 horsepower engine, so exactly the same. Very good. Making our way into mod updates for all platforms. First up, we have RDC FS19 by Alberto. This is going to be version 1.7. We're already there. Uh, wow, seems like winter has arrived yet again. Cloudy days will increase, sunny days will decrease. There will be many days of snowfall that will complicate the harvest and will feed the cattle with large quantities. The fauna has migrated, ducks and hawks will not be seen. Fish are kept in lakes and rivers. You can now see traffic vehicles and snow plows on the road throwing salt. The Christmas special includes things just like the winter 2019 update did. This winter 2020 includes the Christmas special. For the little ones at home, look at the sky at night and you'll be able to see Santa Claus. And you can even see a large Christmas tree with gifts in the town. You can continue your saved game without any worries of losing anything. Next is an update to the old farm countryside by Shaba. This is going to be version 4. The map has now been adapted for the Precision Farming DLC using its own terrain layer. The extra crops of the map, millet, sorghum, rye, rice, and such have become compatible with the DLC. The sale price of cotton was increased. The map becomes compatible with the seed factory and hay pellet factories as well, which is great. The products produced by the new compatible factories can be sold in various places around the map, and now you can supply your cows, sheep, and horses with hay pellets as their main food. Next mod update for all platforms today is the Lizard D754 Truck Pack. This was released a long time ago, well over a year ago. 
Beautiful mod, awesome, awesome mod, but we've got an update today. Hey, this is gonna be update 1.4. They've added a back hitch, so we now have a trailer hitch in the back of this. We also have wheel configuration, so we have Lizard, Nokian, Trailborg, back to Lizard, Lizard, we have a standard and an narrow tire. We have Nokians or standards and Trailborgs. We've got some interesting tires here in Trailborg as well. I actually really like these. They've also added a few other things as well. Notably, a horse seed, horse, horse seed tender 10 TPF. This is gonna hold 10,000 liters of seed and fertilizer. We've also got the horse shuttle, 8,000 PF. It's gonna hold 8,000 liters of fertilizer and herbicide, which is very nice. Got another new addition. This is the Breedle K105 PF. This hold 9,000 liters of fertilizer and lime, which is very nice, 12 mile per hour max speed. Uh, it doesn't say anything about the spread. I assume this will be somewhere between 12 and 24 meters. Cover, no, or yes, so you've got that on there as well. The piece of equipment you saw in the intro, this is the SP Sprayer 4000. Holds 4,000 liters of fertilizer and herbicide. We've got color options too. So main color, you got your frame, which is nice. We'll change that to blue. And then design color, which we'll changes to red. You can do whatever you want to match your truck. And to top off, you've got a Coon Knight RA 142 PF. This will hold 11,893 liters of TMR. That is right. This is going to be a TMR machine that you can put on your truck. Absolutely massive update for this. Three point you could do beforehand, but everything else, that's a big update. Next update for all platforms today is the Stara Bravo. This is gonna be version 1.1. New stickers have been added to the mods, new platform sizes, corrected the error in the power interruptions, and new version in the mod description. So what do we get? Well, we've got five of these now. I don't remember exactly which one we had beforehand. I think it was the smallest one, but I'm not quite sure. Regardless, we have a four meter version. We have a six meter version. We have a 7.2, a 9.2, and a 10.4 meter headers. These will do corn and they will also do sunflowers. And if your name is Clutch, I'm sure you are going to love these. We have an update to the Flegal Timber Runner Z Crane Pack. This is gonna be changelog 1.0.1, bug fix of the crane control on patch 1.7.1. Weight has been adjusted, 10 in text have been added. They've got additional Nokian tires with labeling, which we've got on there as well. Man, that looks really, really good. They've also updated the mod description version and customized the mud flap labels as well. Beautiful, beautiful here. Not only comes in one version, but we've got different versions of that uh, initial control. So you got a full cover or just a partial cover as well. We've got an update to the Heavy Meadow Rollers. This is going to be version 1.1 or 1.001, something like that. Either way, this has added DLC support for the Precision Farming DLC. So this will now work for you. Your next to last mod update for all platforms today is the Massey Ferguson Delta 9380. This is going to be version 1.1. Added a pipe light, increased the movement speed of the door, adjusted the AdBlue consumption, improved the particle system, added more wheel configurations, and optimized the model. So what do we get? Well, we got Trelleborg, we have Michelin, Midas tires, back to Trelleborg and Trelleborg, we have a standard, wide tire, crawler track, back to standard Michelin, standard, standard, wide tires, crawler track, AO, and then Midas, we have a standard, wide tires, crawler track option for the Midas tires as well. Great update here. And your last mod update for all platforms today is going to be the grain silo set with multi-fruit. If you are on any platform, you need to download this mod right now. I always use this for extensions and things like that for silos, and I think you guys should too. This is absolutely perfect. This is going to be version 1.2, added snow roofs with seasons, added default silo extension with snow roofs, the snow area of the farm silo small and large, have been adjusted, added a small silo configuration with an extreme extension, 1 million liters. If you're curious, 75,000 was the before, 1 million liters is the after. I've actually already done this. I made one of these, <laughs> so they've done it too, which is awesome. That's really, really cool. They've also, um, the fill marks can be now switched off via the trigger mark setting in the menu and remove collision of the unload pipes. When an update, I mean, this is this is how you do it right here. This is great. As was mentioned, we do have one map that is new for console players and an update for PC players. 
first, let's jump into what's new about this. So this is the Homestead Economy Man. It is now for all platforms, and it is or has four or 54 fields, three meadows, BGA, farm silos, small forest mission system, animal stables for sheep, pigs, cows, chickens, and is seasons ready. And it is absolutely tiny. This is a full four or two X map, sorry. The big square that you see on the outside, that's the size of the first map that we talked about in this video. This is this size right here. It's basically the size of the town and one of the farms on the other one. But they've still managed to fit four or 54 fields on here. You do get field 27 and 26. They are bundled together. Some of these fields, actually most of these, will be bundled together. However, they're not crazy expensive. I foresee a lot of people maybe cutting these trees down in between and then rocking through here with uh, <laughs> with a big plow and plowing all these fields together. That's what I would do, but hey, you do whatever you want to do. Now, as was mentioned, we do have an update to this. So console, this is our version 1.001 console release. Collisions added at the storage wall, the 10N missing fix, new BGA subtitle, and new collisions been added to the cow and pig stables. What do you get when you're a new farmer? Well, get the fin favorite 511, Case Maxim CVX 115, Raw Smash 330, you get a tipper, corn header, cultivator, you get a cedar, you also get a front loader with a bucket and a pallet fork, you get a 650 kilogram weight, you get a puppy, you, <laughs> that is a puppy, right? Yeah, I think so. And you get root crop storage, which is nice for doing potatoes, and a grain silo, which will hold 21,000 liters. So not a whole lot, but these fields are absolutely teeny tiny so you're not gonna be getting a whole lot of anything off of these things very nice very awesome love it i love it i love it for our console players we do have one update that is just for you and this is going to be west newton farm console version from nm modding it's gonna be version 1.0.1 Fix the season's hedges, fix the floating items, fix the vehicle cell point, fix chaff on field number two, tweak the reset point, change the milk cell point position, made the sheep placeable sellable, and added custom soil mask so you can use the precision farming DLC with this map. Making our way into mods for PC and Mac only today, and we've only got one new, and it is the Lizard Among Us wait. <laughs> it was only a matter of time, and we have it now. We've got design color, well, we've got any color under the rainbow, and configuration standard, or design two without the head. Now, unfortunately, I've never played this game, but I know a whole lot about it, and I know that this is pretty darn funny. This is great. Um, It doesn't actually say how much it weighs, though. I would imagine this weighs somewhere around 500 to 1,000 kilograms. And your last mod today, an update for PC and Mac players to the Billsma Hercules 1400. This is going to be changelog 2, new UV map, new specular, and added a normal map, added a long drawbar option to make steering easier, added an additional fill configuration, and added new tire configurations. Well, guys, that is going to be it for today. I hope you've enjoyed. If you did, make sure you drop a like on it, get subscribed to the channel if you're new, and join the Go Ham fam. Make sure you turn your notification bells on as well so that you never miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel. This may be the last new mod video of 2020, but we've got a lot of stuff planned for you over the next few weeks. I want to thank all of the mod creators that have sent over stuff. We're going to be doing first looks and we're going to be doing some teasers for a lot of mods that you guys have been excited to see. But all being said, <laughs> between now and then, hope you guys have a great day. We'll see you later. Peace.